chat, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a little build tutorial, I suppose, and uh, show you guys how I create bunk beds without using any CC. So first I'm gonna create a room, and I should preface this by saying this technique only works if you put the room on the main floor of the house. Also, if you plan on having uh, some type of foundation in the house as well. So first of all, I'm just gonna make a room and I'm using the tiny, tiny, tiny fence from get to work in order to separate the room up so that I can delete half of the flooring. So when you have foundation and you delete half the flooring, what happens is you delete the flip, uh, you delete the foundation as well, giving you sort of a, you know, split level room here. So I had to put, uh, I'm gonna slow this part down. And uh, so I put on the stairs, and so that a sim can actually get down into it. And this is where we're gonna place the beds. So we're going to place the bed right up against the foundation part, and we're gonna face, place a bed directly on top, but pulled up just enough, pulled over just enough so that it hangs over a little bit. You can also always just have zero overhang and sort of just have the effect of, you know, bunk beds without actually having it be a bunk bed. But this is very important and you might wanna have a sim on the lot to test it. So if you go too far off of the edge, your sim will not be able to use the bed. But I found that placing it right in the center of the square, like you know how the squares are, the big squares are broken down into four little squares. Placing it on the edge of the middle uh, line, I guess, will give you, will give your sim enough room to get in the bed. So then you kinda wanna use some stuff to blend these beds together. I like using these plank things from uh, City Living, and you can also just add some shelving and stuff. I don't know, play around to see what you guys could come up with in terms of like, you know, your, bun your bunk bed blending together. Uh, but this is sort of like an easy way to just make them look a little bit better. So as you can see, I am just adjusting as I go. I didn't really spend too much time doing this. Um, so if you want to, spend some time doing it that's all up to you I just added in some shelves as well just to like blend it a little bit better so the I should say that the city living um, those plank things I don't know what they're called slats um, usually this would not really work however the foundation the the foundation height that I have is the exact height of if I size down I think it's like the lowest height of those on the on the top part and then the mid height of those on the b bottom part so hopefully you understand what i'm trying to say so they come in three different heights and i think i'm using the mid height uh and the lowest height for those slats and the reason why you have to do this obviously is because you want them to be the same size so you want to size them down to you know the same time so you want them to be uh i size them down twice in order to get them the size but if you size them down twice and you use the same height then uh you'll have one that'll be taller than the others because you have to place them on the foundation but i found that using two heights of those slats actually gave me the exact same height for both of them so it actually worked out pretty well but i don't know you guys can play around and see what actually you come up with with that so this is kind of rambly, so hopefully you guys understand. I did <laughs> slow it down at that part, so if I have a really hard time explaining what I'm doing, you guys will be able to figure it out. But I decided just to build this room out anyway and just add what I needed to add. I'm really hoping that eventually we do get bunk beds. Um, I'm hoping that if we get like a university expansion, that's what they'll come in. Otherwise, I don't know if we're gonna get them <laughs> because it seems like Parenthood would have been the great, like the best pack for them to come in. So I don't know. I think a lot of people are holding out hope for some sort of bunk bed situation. But this is how I like to do it. I know that there are a lot of other ways to do it, but these beds, both of them are completely fully functional. Also, with the stairs, it does help to make it feel like, you know, your sim is not teleporting up. Because a lot of the times when you use the bunk beds, um, you know, someone will usually just move objects the bed up onto the wall like really high and then the sim has to sort of float to get onto there they are usually usable but this way you actually get the animation of the sim walking up the steps 
and sleeping in the bed that way. I don't know, I thought if you guys want some different ways to make your kids rooms, this is one of them. This is actually one of my favorite ways to make kids rooms. It just sucks that you can only do this with foundation. So if you plan to not ever use a foundation or if you wanted your Sims to have a room on the top floor or a floor that's not the bottom floor, you can't really do this because as I say, this can only be done using the foundation tool. But I thought uh, the room itself turned out pretty well. I cluttered it up as best as I could with uh, all the kids stuff that I could think of, making it real messy, real kid-like. And don't be alarmed, but I did actually forget to <laughs> include windows. So I, I do actually go back, you'll see that in a second. I do actually go back and put the windows in. I was like, oh crap, I actually made a room build without windows. So reminder, if you make room builds, it's probably a good idea to actually include windows in there. But I realized this like after I started placing lights, I'm like, oh, maybe I should have put some windows in instead. But anyway, uh, enjoy the screenshots and uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video and for the likes and comments and to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I would really appreciate that if you would. I'm bringing you some Sims video every single day uh, for the time being. And I also stream five days a week on my Twitch. If you want to follow me there, the link is in the description. But thanks a lot, guys, and we'll catch you later. Bye.